online person and welcome back to Omega Cove Reviews. Today we are reviewing um, Legendary's first Monsterverse movie, Godzilla 2014. Of course we have our 2014 toy. Have him here. So, let's get on to a general review. So first off, let's start with the characters, acting, etc, etc. So the acting's decent. Um, Cranston, Brian Cranston did amazing in this movie. Um, <sighs> but the rest of it's pretty bad. I mean, the main character, I don't even remember his name. I've watched this movie a few times now, and I don't remember the name. He's got a wife, I think. I mean, like, I don't know what, what his name is. Another thing I don't like about this movie is Godzilla's screen time. He doesn't get a lot of screen time in this movie. You know, it's advertised everywhere. Even got a lot of merchandise. So yeah, the characters and acting say about 2.5 out of 5 stars. So let's go into the plot of this movie. So the plot of this movie is where actually you know what? Let's, let's just skip the plot. Um, you should know the plot, but it's basically Godzilla. Well, I'll go over it. Godzilla. He's been asleep for oh, many years, many many years. And these motos come out from the earth and take over. So the military try all the things they can. And basically what happens is Godzilla comes back out and he takes them out. So that's basically the general plot of this movie. So out of five stars, I give it three and a half, two and a half stars. Like... The Sunday Mirror give it a five stars, which I definitely don't agree with. Godzilla, um, King of the Monsters 2019 is a very good movie. I give that four stars. But, um, yeah, unfortunately for you, sir, your movie was pretty trash. Kongskull Island, I believe, was the better movie. But anyways, that's pretty much this review. Uh, do I recommend it? I mean, if you want to see it, because the effects in this movie are pretty good. Like, some of the scenes are beautiful, and uh, Godzilla is very well designed, and he's, I really like the design of Godzilla 2014. And there's good fight scenes as well. The atomic breath isn't great, but it's there. So yeah, I definitely re recommend watching, you No, know, don't watch this movie. If you are into character development, or cause the only person... Who I think did good in this movie is Brian Cranston, and he dies early on. Spoiler, he dies early on. He's the dad of the main character, who I don't even remember the name of. He's very boring and whatnot, so... You gotta understand if you watch the movie. I, I don't think his name's even mentioned, so... It's rated 12, I agree with that. Um, let's see. Let's see, uh, um, 118... Minutes is the approximate time. Special features, the legendary Godzilla, a whole new level of destruction, and ancient enemy, the Mutos. There is the main character guy at the front. There's his wife and his child. The spectacular adventure pits Godzilla, the world's most famous monster, against uh, malevolent creatures that blo blustered from humanity's scientific arrogance, threatened our very existence. So there is all the stuff if you're interested. Moderate violence and threat. Yeah. That's so out of five, I think I'd give this movie two and a half out of five. So that's just my opinion. If you like this movie, I can understand why you like it. But for characters and even plot wise and the acting and Godzilla's screen time are just big flaws that outweigh the good things about this movie for me anyway so 2.5 out of 5 stars hope you guys enjoyed this video I got better lighting this time because it's daytime um so goodbye everybody I hope you liked my intro my new series o overrated or underrated so have a good day you beautiful person and I'll be back with another review soon